In this video, we will teach you how to properly start training with a training collar or choke collar. There are a variety of names that go under the broad heading of training collar. Some of them are choke collar, choke chain, training collar, correction collar and slip collar. These are all training collars and are used by professionals and amateur trainers alike. Training collars are effective tools if they are used properly. Here are a few thoughts to apply when using training collars. Does it fit? A properly fitted collar makes the collar easier to use and a lot safer for the dog. Determining if the training collar is the right size is relatively easy. The ideal size training collar should fit snugly, yet comfortably over the dog's head. It is important that the training collar not fit too tightly, but it should not be too loose either. A training collar that is too tight will be too hard to put on and off. On the other hand, a training collar that is too loose can accidentally fall off of the dog's head when it lowers its head. The collar should also not be too long. It is best to measure the dog's neck with a tape measure, then add 2 to 3 inches to that measurement. So if your dog has a neck 12 in diameter, you would want to buy a training collar that is 14 in length. Chain slip collars are generally sized in 2 inch increments. Has it been put on correctly? Put it on right and it will be more effective and less dangerous. Is it being used correctly? Don't use the collar as punishment. Rather, use it only as a sharp reminder to the dog about their behavior. Use short sharp jerks of the collar, not constant pressure. Using constant pressure could be dangerous to the dog. Is it the right weight for your dog? In addition to the weight, the size of the links should also be appropriate for your dog's size and weight. Is the collar placed correctly? It is important to properly place the collar on the dog. When fitting a training collar, the part of the chain which is connected to the leash should be on the top of the dog's neck. With this type of arrangement, the collar releases the instant the leash is loosened. Training collars work by making the collar tight and loose in a fast manner. Tightening the collar is the first part of the correction, and making it loose is the second part of the correction. If the part of the training collar that is attached to the leash is not on the top of the dog's neck, the collar can still be made tight, but it will not release back to a loose state easily. This constant pressure on the dog's neck initiates a counter response on the part of the animal, and the dog will quickly learn to pull and strain against the leash. Make sure you purchase a collar that is both well-made and strong. This is a vital step to the safety of yourself and your dog. What do you do if the collar breaks? First, don't panic. For the first couple of minutes, your dog won't even know they have unexpected freedom. If you continue to pretend that the collar is still attached, you can usually get control of the dog back. If your collar should break, you can usually make a quick replacement by making a slip lead. Just take the snap of the leash and run it through the handle and then slip the loop you formed over the dog's head. Not perfect, but sure solves the immediate problem. Make sure to check out the description area of this video for more information on training your dog and best recommended training accessories for your dog.